But the Science Museum is now gearing up for an event that's truly out of this world. It's holding its first ever Space Fest this weekend. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live for us at the museum, showing us all the family fun you'll find. Hi, Twilan. Good morning. Space Fest is going to be two days actually. So Friday night is for the 21 and up crowd if you don't want the kids running around and then Saturday is for all ages. But both days you're going to have so many fun things to do and we have Sarah Jane who always brings us something fun. What kinds of activities can people get their hands on this weekend? Well this one you could somewhat get your hands on. So this is dry ice. I mean I find any reason to use dry ice honestly Absolutely. but we're using because um on the polar caps of Mars it's partially water ice and partially this which is super cool well literally super cool um <laughs> but what i have here and over there we've yeah. got um those are called straw rockets so my buddy john over there is like, made he made a uh, a rocket made out of a little bit of clay a straw and um i guess some fins and so he's working on this trajectory to try and get through that target. Absolutely, so. and I tried it out, full disclosure, for about 10 minutes before I made it, but it is addicting, and why don't we show us the ooh-ah moment know, here that we're so looking much. for. No, this one, I mean, it's, it's, it is dangerous. This stuff is super, super cold. It's um, negative 78 ooh. Celsius, that's cold. Um, but yeah, it's made out of ooh. carbon dioxide. When you heat it up real fast, you get this, and I don't know, I don't know if you wanna take a look at this. You could put it, yeah, you can oh, feel it. Look at that. I had no idea that it was going to be warm, but you can learn so much this weekend. And Sarah Jane, this is two nights. I mean, what is the reaction you get from people when they get to learn about things, kind of with these hands-on experiments? I mean, a lot of the stuff, you, you can't get dry ice anywhere. And right. even if you do, or well, you can, but not, right. not every day. It's not an everyday thing. So, I mean, doing stuff like this, seeing things, and, and tying it into space, and tying it all into one, um, I guess, one topic. Like, yeah, no, it, it, it's cool. And people think of things in ways they wouldn't normally think right. about. So. And kids and adults will react exactly the same way because no matter what age you are, it is still so cool and you can see stuff like this and also get outside on the observation deck and have a fantastic view of the city and also space and learn about the things that you are seeing. We are live here at the Buffalo Museum of Science. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. That is so cool. Oh, that was the reaction that she got over here. I know. <laughs> She's like Bila Mina, the science woman. That is really neat stuff. <laughs> no, that wasn't good. No. Okay, sorry.